Hello, today is February 8, 2018. The Winter Olympics start tomorrow in Pyeongchang, South Korea. Today we are going to learn about this event and what country it is taking place in this year. The Olympics started in 776 BC in Olympia, Greece. For the first 13 games, there was only one event, the 200 yard dash. The very first Olympic champion was a baker named Corbius in 776 BC. Over time, more events were added like chariot racing, boxing, and foot races where participants had to be dressed in full armor. In 391 AD, the Olympics were ended by the Roman Emperor Theodosius. About 1,500 years later, the modern Olympics would start. In 1896, the first Olympic Games took place in Athens, Greece. Athletes from around the world dream of competing in the Summer and Winter Olympics. Today, the Olympics Games are the highest level of all sports events. Now that we know a bit of the Olympics history, let's find out about some of the events that will be going on this year. The Olympics are split into summer and winter games. The winter games will be starting tomorrow morning with the opening ceremony. There will be a total of 15 games over the next two weeks. Athletes will be competing in races such as speedy skating, luge, bobsledding, cross country skiing, and skeleton. Some of those races might sound a bit funny to you. Let's take a look at what some of them are. Bobsledding is a sport where teams of two or four race in sleds. They slide down long, twisty tracks of ice. In luge, one or two people lay facing up on a sled. Like bobsledding, they race on a long, twisting track of ice. Both of these sports are very fast-paced and can be quite dangerous. Skeleton is similar to bobsledding and luge. It is a very fast sliding sport. In skeleton race, one person lays face down and head first on a sled. They slide throughout a steep track of ice with lots of turns. Skeleton athletes need to be very careful because there aren't any breaks in their sleds. Racing is not the only thing played in the Olympics. That's right. Ice hockey, ski jump, and curling are also played. Curling. Curling is actually the name of a team sport. Two teams go against each other on an ice surface called a curling sheet. They slide large stones from one end of the sheet to the other. The goal is to get the stone to come to a stop as close as possible to the bull's eye called the button. Oh, I see. What's your favorite Olympic sport? I love fading skating the most. Athletes dance and perform tricks to music they have chose. They compete as individuals and teams of two. Whoa, I'm so excited for this year's Olympics. Me too. I hope America brings a lot of gold medals home. The Winter Olympics are taking place in South Korea this year. Let's learn a bit more about this country on the other side of the world. And you have sail. I'm here in Pyeongchang, South Korea, where the Winter Olympics will be kicking off tomorrow. Korea is a peninsula like Florida. It is a piece of land almost surrounded by water. The country is split into North and South Korea. The Olympics will be taking place in South Korea. South Korea is a lot like America. They have a democracy and vote for a president just like we do. The Korean alphabet is called Hangul. It has 10 vowels and 14 consonants. It is really easy for young children to learn. Did you know that on the day that Korean babies are born, they're considered to be one years old? Another year is then added on New Year's Day. So, if you were eight years old here in Korea, you would actually say you were nine years old. 
One of the biggest things to come out of South Korea right now is K-pop, or Korean pop music. Groups like Super Junior, EXO, SHINee, BTS are gaining popularity throughout the world, including right here in America. Artists like Bruno Mars, Kanye West, and Snoop Dogg have already written songs for and even featured on K-pop artist album. K-pop is a mixture of pop, rock, hip-hop, and R&B. Girls and boys will send years as trainees before debuting in a K-pop group. They spend most of their days learning music, dance, foreign languages, and other skills for their debut. Groups are known for their complicated and precise dance routines. The capital of South Korea is Seoul. About 10 million people live in this city. There are five royal palaces in Seoul. These were built by the Joseon kings who ruled for 500 years starting in 1392. You can still visit these beautiful buildings today. Definitely take some time to learn about this incredible country and its amazing culture. Wow, thanks. I will absolutely be looking into South Korea. Today's lunch is chicken and waffles, ham and cheese sandwich, chef salad, green beans, veggies, fresh fruit, and of course, milk. So what event are you looking forward to during the Winter Olympics? I look forward to see the skeleton races. I look forward to seeing the speed skating. I am looking for ice hockey. The opening ceremony event will start tomorrow at 6 a.m. Why not tune in while you're getting ready for school? Enjoy your Thursday, everyone. And yohi gaseo!